Hey guys, it's about beer 30. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Grinch Beer Reviews today. I don't know whether this is going to be a treat or it's going to be whatever. Uh, this is Springhouse Brewing. They're out of uh, Conestoga, Pennsylvania. This is an Imperial Stout, but it is their The Martians Kidnap Santa Eggnog Stout. And I know Christmas has already come and gone and I've done all the Christmas beers already, but... Rico brought this down to me. Uh, today is the 19th of January. He came down uh, last weekend and spent the weekend with me. And he brought this in one of the the, uh, the beer packages he brought down. And it was a massive package with glasses and beers and all kinds of stuff. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Uh, I didn't know, and I've never had an eggnog stout. I didn't know whether uh, this would sell her till next Christmas. So I decided, well, let me go ahead and do it because... I've never had one of these, so uh, I don't know what it's going to taste like or what's going to fade over time or anything like that. So we're going to do a Christmas beer here in January. So, and uh, it's a plain Jane silver can with a stick on label. Uh, doesn't have a lot of information on the can. It just says Springhouse, uh, kind of Southern Pennsylvania. And it's got their graphics on the front with a candy cane and some uh, Christmas tree ornaments. And it says Eggnog Stout. Then it's got the government warning on the side. And that's about all the information. It doesn't have the ABV, the IBUs uh, on the bottom. It does have canned on November 22nd of 2016. So uh, not quite two months old. And for an 8.3 percenter is what they're telling me here it is. I have no IBUs listed on any of the three sites that I use. So, uh, really not critical for this style of beer, but I would like to know, just just me, just my OCD, uh, whether it's a 30 IBU, 15, or, or bigger, uh, I just want to know that. So, uh, and they don't have the ABV on it either, so they're lacking a little information. But they did put a candle date on it, so, I mean, that's the most important thing, but I would like to see an ABV and an IBU, uh, and, uh, and so we'll know. So, uh, and like I said, didn't want to sell this one until next Christmas because I don't know what's going to fade. So, decided to go ahead and bring it out and uh, see what it brings, see what it's like. And it's still winter time, and it's not that far away from Christmas. Uh, so, uh, let's see what it brings. That's where we're going to leave it. Uh, commercial description says no commercial description, and Beer Advocate has no commercial description. So we have no commercial description other than it's a uh, imperial stout uh, eggnog flavored I guess. It should have some cinnamon and some other things in there. Uh, probably a lot of the pumpkin pie spices. I, I don't know. We're going to find out. And I'm going to tell you straight up. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, I know it's not going to hurt Rico's feelings. And if I love it, I'm going to tell you I love it. And if I don't like it, I'm going to tell you I don't like it. So with that being said, this is a big 16 ounce can. <clears throat> well, I get it open. I'll say the cuisine is barbecue, the cheese is buttery, brie, gouda, habardi, your Swiss, your earthy cheeses, Camembert, Fontina. Uh, goes well with your chocolate dishes, it says. And the meat is beef, shellfish, smoked meat, game, and grilled meat. Uh, pint glass, Becker, nine, time to mug, science, Seidel. I'm using my favorite. I'm not going to pour it all in there right now. And it says not recommended for extended cellaring unless ABV extends the average range, which it always says here. Uh, 8% or 8.3% does extend the average range, but I didn't want to lose any of the spices or what they're wanting you to have fresh. So, another reason I went ahead and brought a Christmas beer out in January. So, 
Uh, it's very dark, guys. Uh, no light is coming through it. It's pitch black. Uh, about a half a finger of head on the pour. Looks really good in the glass. Let's get a nose on it. Guys, it smells like a typical stout. Roasted malt. Hints of some cinnamon. Not getting any eggnog notes in the nose. Maybe a, just a tad of some bittersweet chocolate. And that's it. The, uh, the roasted malt and some sweetness is standing out more than anything else. And now the, the head is basically dissipated. It's not even hardly covering the top of the beer. So let's give it a try. See what we got. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Rico. Well, tastes like a typical stout to me, guys. I'm not getting any eggnog influences other than a little bit of cinnamon. Roasted malt. A little bit of bittersweet chocolate. Maybe some dark fruit in there, but it's chilled right out of the fridge. So we need to let it warm up and see if I can get anything out or any kind of eggnog. To me, guys, it tastes like a... Uh, Tastes like a stout with cinnamon added. That's what I'm getting right now. So let's let it warm up and uh, sip on it for just a little bit and see what we end up with. Maybe some of that eggnogish qualities other than the cinnamon will come out once it warms up. All right, guys, I'm back. I stepped on about 30 minutes. I'm very nice with the cigar that I was smoking outside on the deck. To me, guys, I'm not giving the eggnog. This is a stout with cinnamon. And to be honest about it, it's a little overpowering in the cinnamon. Uh, not getting a whole lot of vanilla or any, anything else to do with eggnog. Uh, um, it's a cinnamon stout and a little overpowering on the cinnamon and in the stout as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I'm glad they are dating the bottom of the cans. Uh, this probably would have kept uh, until next Christmas to be honest about it now that I've had it. Uh, Maybe the cinnamon would have faded a little bit over time and it may have been a little better next Christmas. Right now, I'm impressed. This is not an A beer, guys, uh, to me. And to be honest about it, it's probably not a B plus beer. The alcohol is fairly well hidden. I'm not getting a lot of alcohol, no alcohol notes, but that tells me it's a fairly well made beer, but it's overpowering in the cinnamon. I mean, if you're a cinnamon fan, you would probably like this. Final joke. To be straight up honest, this is not something I would probably buy. It was very unimpressive to me. Uh, the only good thing about this beer, it has a date on the bottom of it when it was put in. I enjoy buy, used by, precious by. Uh, Whatever that. Uh, a lot of the brewers are going to that, and I'm not a big fan of it, and I'm going to burn their butt up every time I see that kind of poor shit on a can or a bottle. Uh, put the bottle on date and the can on date on it. But let's decide when we're going to drink it. Especially if it's an IPA or a double IPA. This is a stout, 8.3%. This beer is going to keep for a while, and it may be even better. Uh, Christmas of 2017, than it was Christmas of 2016. Now, here in January, uh, uh, decent, but not outstanding. Not world-class by any means. Uh, the only thing favorable is it's got the canned on date. So, I do appreciate them doing that. Uh, in my honest opinion, guys, I'm between a B and a B+. Plus. Uh, if it had the ABV on the can, I would probably go ahead and give it to B+. Plus. Since it does not, it's going to get to B for me. Numeric rating on this one, guys, is probably 87. That's where I'm going to put this beer. Over to Beer Advocate. Beer Advocate says it's 85. So I'm giving better numbers than the guys over there are giving it. Uh, 
Over to Rake Beer. Rake Beer says 89. I'm not giving it quite that good. So we're in between. We got an 85 and an 89. I'm giving it an 87. So I'm in between those two guys. And for our final check in, we'll go over to Untapped. Untapped has it at 3.71. Uh, to me, that is. B, B plus beer. So everybody's in pretty much in agreement here. It's a B slash B plus beer. If you like a cinnamon stout, you probably would give it a B plus and you may enjoy it. I think it was a little overpowering for the cinnamon, uh, not getting any eggnog ass qualities other than the cinnamon. Uh, unimpressed. I mean, I'm really unimpressed. So, Rico, I uh, appreciate you sending it to me. Let me give it a try, give it a whirl around. Uh, it's okay. It's okay, guys. Uh, there are a lot better stouts out than this. And uh, once you get to the bourbon barrel aged beers, they are tremendously better than this. So, meh. It was okay. It was decent. Glad I got to try it. So, thanks, Rico, again, my brother, for sending it to me. If you've had this one from uh, Springhouse Brewing Company, uh, this is the, Mar the Martians Kidnap Santa. And they probably poured cinnamon up his damn nose. Because <laughs> this is a little overpowering with the cinnamon. To me. To me, guys. That's my opinion. So if you've had it, let me know what you think. And if you've had it, uh, uh, it was okay. It was okay. Uh, not, not, some, not something I would write home about. Or nothing I would probably purchase myself. But I'm glad I got to try it. So if you've had it, let me know, guys. And come on back tomorrow. Let's take something tasty out the fridge. See you then.